to another segment of Mishti Talk. Today, Ginny and I are at the Taste of Europe in Cronulla and we've got a special guest, Potios, with us. Welcome on our show. Thank you. Hi. Thank you for having us and it's Volians Rotten uh, today. So, can you tell us about this dessert that you're trying to fatten us up with? Right. <laughs> okay, well this dessert we call a crock and bush. Okay, how'd you come up with that name? As the name implies, you've got yeah. all the little profiteroles mm -hmm. with laid in the um, short crust pastry, caramel and cheesecake. Delicious, you can have a bit of a taste. You can have a taste and it's presented to you with hearts. As you Aww. Can see. So lovely, so sweet. Crock and bush. I thought that was very Aussie. I thought like, you know, crocodile in a bush. <laughs> Well, it sounds like a crocodile in the bush, doesn't it? Well, there's no bush, but there's ocean. Yeah. No, no, that's why I'm like cheesecake. So let's put a French twist with it. Okay. Croc and bush. Okay. Croc and bush. Not a Aussie croc and bush. No. no. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have a taste. Yeah. And dip it to a bit of that black chocolate. Oh, you've got to have yeah. that chocolate, don't you? Mm. So tell us, when did you open this cafe? Okay, well, we launched in uh, Cronulla about 11 months ago. Yeah. Uh, the brand's been around since 96. Since 96, uh, we evolved into a bakery uh, bar cafe and uh, been in the industry for 25 years. Oh, wow. 25 years. 25 years in the industry. And how has the cafe industry changed in um, Sydney or Australia? Well, it has changed dramatically in terms of people now expect when they walk into a cafe to get a great coffee. So our coffee culture has changed from just getting, you know, your frothed up cappuccino and laid on with froth. They yep. really look for the perfect cup of coffee, which has got a great crema, um, the velvety sort of creamy milk that's poured over the espresso shot. So they really are particular in what they get these days. They're not just scooping on the froth and just powdering it with chocolate. Yeah. So here's your cappuccino yeah. anymore. Yeah, I think that's why a lot of the, I guess, the franchise, um, I guess, you know, the coffee, maybe like Starbucks and Glory Jeans are kind of like going out of business for that reason, right? Yeah. Because well, they've got the coffee culture in. Well, they're uh, more of a, uh, you know, let's uh, throw all the syrups on there. Exactly. Let's grab a cocktail, yeah. which is masking the real flavor of coffee. Yeah, mm. yeah. Like there's all these boutique cafes that really, you know, get that real coffee out there, and this is what we're about. But I think also it's all about the service, like the cafe owners connecting with their customers. I think it's a big part mean? of that. <laughs> and it makes a big difference. Oh, I like, think I would so. want to come back yeah. again. Yeah, I think yeah. like Australian consumers um, really put a big value on that. Absolutely, they they do want the uh, the service as well. And yes. uh, at Taste of Europe, we provide that service. Yeah. And those cafes that provide that service will obviously capitalise on getting that extra customer. Yeah. I mean, it's nice when you walk into a cafe, it's like, yep, I know how you like your coffee, like it's exactly. done, like yeah. ready for you, you know that what I mean? Personalised like, touch. Yeah, yeah, definitely, that extra TLC. Mm. Yeah. So you were saying to me before that your background is accounting. Yes, yeah. I was an accountant. Yes. Uh, graduated high school, went into uh, studies, I did accounting. Yep. Uh, left accounting after study, after working for two years. It wasn't me, I was more of a people's person. Mm. I couldn't be behind a desk and I put some pencil, so I left that. Got involved in the business. Uh, yep. It was just purely a bakery. Yep. And then from a bakery, I had this vision of owning a coffee shop. So I traveled Europe, went to Greece, Spain, Sweden. Um, and from there I developed the flavors of you know, different styles of coffee. Mm. And the way they drink it in their, in their country. Regions. That's yeah. right. And, um, and then I created what you see and what we have today, the taste of your brand. And um, our point of difference at Taste of Europe is when you come here, if you travel to Greece and you want your Greek coffee, yeah. well, we offer that. Yeah. If you go to Spain and you want your Spanish coffee, well, we offer that. Um, and then obviously your Italian coffees and your French style coffees, and that's what we developed, and that's my passion. My passion now is to deliver that excellent cup of coffee for everyone to enjoy. Hence the name, Taste of Europe. Taste of Europe. Taste of Europe. <laughs> And service with a smile and a good conversation <laughs> as well. So you were located in Double Bay before? We were in Double Bay. Yep. We're still in Double Bay. Okay. We're just relocating. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got Double Bay. Yep. We've also got Cronulla uh, now, yep. which led us into the model of franchising. Okay. So we are looking at franchising. We are looking Excellent. at bringing more people on board and sharing a piece of history and making history and being part of the family that we are. The Taste your family group. And you're doing really, really well. Mm. Yeah, the coffee I had earlier was 
to be done by. What yeah. did you have before? I had the Fredocino. Uh, the Fredocino. Fredocino. <laughs> Fredocino. <laughs> Fredocino all the way from Santorini, I believe. Oh, is it? Was One it? of my favorite places <laughs> on earth, I have to say. Love, 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 love. So uh, literally, so like heaven go. on earth. There you go. Heaven on earth. So. And in general, what did you have? You had the... I had a latte. A latte. <laughs> a latte. A better latte than ever, she says. <laughs> and what's the demographic like of the clientele that comes to this to particular the location? Cronulla side? Yeah. Well, in Cronulla, we've got... The demographic is... It's everything. We've got uh, the young crowd that come here because we offer more than just coffee. We're a bakery cafe. So we've okay. got your burgers, your pizzas, yeah. your breakfast, all day breakfast uh, items. So we got... Your elderly people, we do Devonshire tea as well, so that caters for the old, mm. older people. Um, the young crowd like a good burger, and we do a hearty, wholesome, juicy burger. Oh, I'll have to um, do that after. Yeah, it's oh my God. off trauma. camera. <laughs> She's going to be classy on camera. We do like hard like one, we do naked yeah. burgers as well, just oh lettuce God. leaves. Oh, yeah. that's really good. Absolutely, yeah. we do low carb and uh, gluten low free carb. options. Today it's going to be all carbs for me, so bring it. That's it, carb yeah. it up. Carb it up. <laughs> so, um, Cronulla is obviously the home to the Cronulla Sharks rugby team. Do you get Go some the of the the Sharks? Absolutely. Do you get, do you get um, some of the players? We do, we've here? had uh, some of um, the players that have come in here. Uh, um, like Seguero is coming here and uh, Trent Hodgson and we've had um, Luke Lewis coming here with all these um, uh, players and he's you know had his coffee in here before and um, yeah so we'd like more of the Sharkies to come over Definitely. obviously yeah. we're here for you and you're here for us um, yeah. we'll, get you, we'll get you connected to the players <laughs> absolutely I'm waiting yes. for it so, but speaking of players and like people that are in the gym and people that are health conscious these days, um, yep. do you cater to them as well? We absolutely do. Like uh, we've got high protein uh, the menu as well. Yep. So we got pro we've just introduced our own protein balls made in house. Yep. So we've got a, a new one which is a chia and coffee, mm -hmm. Ooh, and uh, with protein. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we've also got your low carb um, products as well. So if you're on a low carb diet, high GI. We do that as well. Very good. It's a really cute spot for a little date night, isn't it? Like by the ocean and you've got the Santorini vibes happening. Well, we've had a lot so. of people ask us to get a bar license. So we're in the process of oh, acquiring a bar fantastic. license, which then we can you know, trade at night. And yep, yep. Get those candles out yeah. there and create that atmosphere. Yeah, so I think that'll be it's very happening. nice. Yeah. It's all happening. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's nice to have like a you know an option. You should, like, and just it. yeah, you release yourself and think you're in Europe. Yeah, all, all the roads lead to Europe. They do, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> so what is it about Europe, like their culture, that you know? Europe's all about love, love and yeah, mystery, yeah, romance, yeah. and food indulgence. Naughty at the same time. <laughs> Speaking of the demographics, so what do you find different between men and women? What do that men come to this cafe for and what do women come to the cafe Okay, well what we've realised is men come here for, for, for big meals and at Taste Europe we're generous with our portions and they love to eat. Mm -hmm. right, so we offer that. And um, the women, there's smaller portions, there's uh, petty fours, uh, desserts as you can see. Yes. They'll have their little latte or cappuccino. They come here to socialise. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, potentially meet their future partners. People watch. There they it's could. a really good spot to people watch because you're right on the beach. It is summertime. a good, yes. You can see all <laughs> going by. Yep, you've, met, you've hit the nail. <laughs> <laughs> right are you on speaking the from experience? Yes. In there are <laughs> both sides. For guys, there's a lot of eye candy here as well, like especially in summer. For guys or for yeah. guys? No, for and guys girls. looking at girls, there's oh, a lot of eye candy and yeah, vice versa because there's some nice boys there's coming out There's already enough eye candy in Sydney <laughs> for men in general, but That's we right. need to step it up in the men's department, I think, for the single women mm. out there. There's a shortage. Well, there is. We've got a gym right next door. Okay. And all the sharky players come out after they've had a session. Ladies, there you go. So you the never perfect know, spot to position out. yourself. <laughs> we could have some shark players walk through soon. You never Maybe. You never know. <laughs> You never know. Just <laughs> pop out the bushes and just be like, hey, can I get you some protein balls? <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. Yeah, nicely done. So, do you feel like the next generation of, I guess, the younger boys or men are kind of lacking in that romance, you know, department, that mystery and treating a woman a certain way? 
obviously, you know, you haven't travelled Europe and having life experience. You mean like locally? Are they missing that? Yeah, uh, not like just in Australia, like in general, like the next generation of like men. Maybe. I think, yeah, you're probably right on that respect because a lot of people now are all on their phones, right? Mm -hmm. They're sitting there, yeah. they're out on a date or they're out in a cafe <laughs> and instead of, instead of sitting there and talking to each other, yeah. they'll come to a cafe, they'll order individually and then they're on the phone. And then they'll take a photo of the meal. Take Snapchat. a photo of the meal, Snapchat it, and they've lost that pizzazz about, hey, we're here together, let's indulge, let's just have that conversation. The romantic place where the cap, what, what a cafe is meant to that be. That connection. Yeah, so when you go to Italy, yeah. right, what's it about? You go to a cafe, you, you, you indulge, you're together. You right off in the Vespa. Right off in the Vespa, <laughs> you know, wave as you say, I've had a latte. <laughs> Yes, do you feel like chivalry is like dead? Do you feel like chivalry is kind of taking a bit of a steep dive? It has, it has in a way, yeah. yeah. So I think uh, I guess they've got to just lay off the social media a little bit mm -hmm. and enjoy when they get to a cafe, really focus on each other and indulge in what they're having. And hey, what do you feel about, I guess, online dating versus meeting someone in person? I probably know the answer to this, but I want to like hear it. <laughs> you don't want to hear what I'm going to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a bit old fashioned when it comes to that. Yeah. So for and me, it's about forget all, forget going out on you know online. Uh, for me, it's about introducing uh, or meeting ladies at a cafe or a bar and taking them out and just um, having a good time at a cafe. And uh, just for the viewers, if you know, obviously I'm not saying that you're like available and whatnot, but if you were to meet a lovely lady, yeah. what would be your opening line to kind of start the oh. conversation? <laughs> <laughs> putting like you on the spot there. Wow, you are putting me on the spot. Just, yeah. <laughs> just so. Well, I am, you know. I am married anyway, but yeah, I yeah. haven't used any lines for years. But if you were to, Some wow. advice that you would give to the uh, younger advice to the younger generation. Yeah. Wow. You have put me on the spot yeah. now. I don't know what line to use. Without sounding um, creepy or like, you know. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. What would you use? What would you like to hear? Let, I haven't got There's any no, lines so, right I, now. Nothing, got, nothing cheesy. Um, I hate your typical cheesy lines. Like, don't, you know, like use your typical cheesy lines that you see on Instagram like, memes I think I've and seen things some like. Before. Yeah. I've yeah. oh, seen some before. Like, which um, area are you from? Like, oh, honestly, wow. the amount of times I've heard that. Yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah. I take the approach where if I was attracted and I liked it, say, hey, you know what, I'd like to see you again. How about we go and have coffee and we can have a chat and um, I'd like to buy you some lunch. Yeah, okay. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Just straight to the point. There's no mucking exactly around. Exactly, straight to the hey, point. I'd really like to see you again and I'd like to take you out for lunch. Let's go and have a coffee over here. See where it takes and us. would you connect on Instagram and actually get the phone number? No, no, I'll ask you for your phone number. I'll say, hey, if you're not comfortable giving me your phone number, here's my number. If you are keen and you want to connect, give me a call. Yeah. And Beautiful. it's not creepy, not invasive. Yeah. Yeah. Love so it. if you come to this cafe, say if I come to this cafe, yeah. there will be potential suitors here. Oh, absolutely. Oh, Guarantee. Okay. Are, yeah. you available? are you single? Are you? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so if I come here. Tell my business. If I come here. No, I'm happy all, with all the, all the sharkies will come out and... Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. They'd definitely come and see you. No, so just for our viewers out there, because I have a lot of single friends as well, and they're like, where do we meet people? Where do we go? And the only option right now is online dating, and they're, you know, meeting a bunch of creeps. So we really want to... No, know you know what? Go out to cafes, socialise, make yourself seen with people around there, and you know what? The attraction will happen, because when yeah. you see a lucky lady, you walk up and you'll introduce yourself if you really want. If you're yeah. if you're in, if, if you're intimidated and you, and you can't approach him, just go to the bartender and say, "Hey, I'd like to buy her a coffee." Oh, and just I love that. Bring that's, it out. That's the a really bartender good will come that's out and say, tip. "Hey, by the way, here's, here's a coffee." Very, very by the, by the yeah. Joe Blow. <laughs> Joe Blow. Um, oh, and so Joe Blow could be walking off as he does it and give you a little. Yeah. Give him a little wave. And Joe Blow will give you a little wave as he walks away. Embarrassed a little bit. Oh, that is that's so, it. That's yeah. cute. Cronulla's so a place to be. All right. And any tips? I'll, I'll help you out where I can. Yes, you'll get two in one. A great coffee <laughs> and great tips on love and relationships, like right here. Beautiful. Yeah. Cool. On that note, yeah. we'll sign off and enjoy the rest of this. Yes.
and dig into what that burger. Crock bush. Crock and bush. No, no, not a crock in the bush. <laughs> Rock and bush. Rock and bush. Rock and bush. All right, guys. Thank you. Accent was telling off. Signing out. Thanks, ladies.